Welcome to my channel, good day, and so if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and like this video, okay? So, for today, ang discussion natin is inverse variation. Paano ba mag-translate ng inverse variation equation? Um, kung paano isolve yung unknown value and kung paano kukunin ang constant of variation. So, let's start. Before that, um, mag-subscribe kung bago. Ayan, thank you sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta. Now, inverse variation is a relationship between two variables, x and y, that can be written as y is equal to k over x. Now, si y is equal to k over x, this is the general equation. Now, ang equation ng inverse variation nakadepende sa value ng k. Kung ang k halimbawa ay 5, we just have to substitute 5 from 8 and then that is the equation of the inverse variation. Pero ito, yung y is equal to k over x, siya yung general. Na yung x and y ay representation ng dalawang variable na kinocompare. So, pwede din siyang a, b, or kaya c and d, depende sa variable. But yung general na ginagamit is y and x. Now, paano ba mag-translate ng inverse variation statement into an equation? So, to translate that, di ba, um, z varies inversely as b. Yung z mo, yung first variable mo, automatic siya na yung na dito, yung nasa unahan, and then varies inversely, pag narinig nyo yung varies inversely, um, equals k na agad yan. And then since inversely, over yan, doon sa variable na pangalawa. So over b. So that's the equation. Now for this num item, m, inversely proportional k to n. Ito yung k, yung constant of variation. And then c is inversely proportional to s. Ganun po yung pagka-translate ng equation. Next. Given that y varies inverse less s, using the table of values, determine the constant of variation and the equation of the variation. Now, para malaman natin kung inverse variation ba ang isang table, ang kailangan lang natin ay yung k o yung constant. So, dapat, um, each pair must have an equal constant of variation. So, ibig sabihin, i-multiply mo lang yung xy or pwede naman yx, pwede baliktad. Dapat pare-pareha. So, pag minultiply natin to 12, pag minultiply natin to 12, minultiply natin 12. So, check. Automatic. That's inverse variation. And yung solve natin na to, siya yung k natin. 12. And then, to get the equation, di ba, the general form is y is equal to k over x. Paltan mo lang yung value ng k na 12, magiging y is equal to 12 over x. So, this is now your equation. Next, given that y varies inversely as x, find the constant of variation. Kapag ganito yung question, constant lang naman ang variation, product agad, multiply mo agad siya, 3 times 7, the answer is 21. So, k is 21. Ganun lang kasimple. Next, y varies inversely as x and y is 10 when x is 6. Then, what is y when x is 15? So, syempre, ang kailangan natin, yung y is equal to k over x. Tulad lang natin yung first statement, yung first set of given. y is 10, x is equal to 6. Tapos dito, y is unknown, question mark, and x is 15. Siyempre, to solve for y, kailangan natin ang k. Ano ba yung k? Paano natin isosolve ang k? Iba ang k is just the product of y and x. So 10 times 6, the answer is 60. So k is 60. Now, Dahil k ay 60, gagamitin natin siya dito, yung 60. Yan. Now, so, gagamitin na natin yung formula na y is equal to kx, na kung saan, k over x, na kung saan, ang k mo ay 60, at ang x mo ay 15. So, 60 divided by 15, the answer is 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang y mo ay equal sa 4. So, that's how you get the value of the unknown in an inverse variation. That's all. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something.